everybody, my name is Farmer Phil and we are on the Creva Crew trip. Day two. Day two. Day two. So we are after visiting the Urban Factory and now we are on our way to look at farms with urban calf feeders and see how to do them. So um, yeah, it's a bit miserable today. Like home. <laughs> yeah, reminds you of home now, it's raining it again. Go up Behan and see two farms and see how they, they have their calf feeders up and they are set up. So yeah, looking forward to it anyways. We have uh, ammo processing four station fit plus system so it's constantly mixing and feeding at the same time what is special on this setup is that we have it on tiltable stations so the farmer can tilt over the stations to muck out uh, the barn then we have in Germany we call it a Holstein system so that you can swing over the gates in the middle and um oh shut them either side yes yes this was an old machine hall and um, he just put it in here and he is now able to mug out all by himself doesn't need any any other worker for that he looked into the feeding curve <coughs> this is the feeding curve he uses yes this is uh, very special he, he using the ad lib button for oh. the first phase so as the calves come onto the station um they can drink as much as they want to Yes. Right. This is you see the waves here on top. That's putting in the adlib button here, and then they go down to ten liters and wean them. I would say approximately day fifty to day eighty. Different set than what we have, isn't it? Yeah, they have the, the roof in the back. I um, to let down. To let down if it's freezing cold, um, but this is only. I mean, we have like two or three weeks, which are more than or less than minus 10 degrees yes and yeah they just have the curtains in here because we have quite a wind blown them in, in the last weeks and you see because uh, mucking out is that easy it's done more often yes right? and as it's done more often it improves the the freshness of the air it improves the, the amount of bacteria in the barn and all of that but in the middle they have a a a border yes a straw that is because um right now in germany it's forbidden to have any place without straw in in the calf barn in oh. earlier days it was okay to have a feeding area on concrete yes so that that has now yeah new regulations oh uh, so he could he could use rubber instead, yeah. but uh, nothing else. This is the milk replacer that they're feeding then. Yeah, yeah. So what's the percentage proteins and? Fifty percent skim. Yeah. Twenty-three percent protein. Seventeen and a half palm oil. Palm oil and cocos oil, and Fair. sunflower oil, a mixture of. Same as same as what we're feeding. Twenty-three yeah. percent. So yeah, the first days. So make sure the the distance to the barn is even, and they can <coughs> see the other cows already. So these are you can see the the three or three days older that yeah. calves that so, then yeah. they go from there so this into the pen only for the colostrum phase. Yes, and then they move over. It's, this farm is year round calving. Yeah. And it, it's indoors all the time. So now in summer times they have cows on grass, yeah. oh, but, but not in winter times. Yeah. Um, yeah, but the calves are always inside. Yes. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, in summertime, oh, in spring, yeah. they push the calf outside and then, yeah, they come back in in the autumn yeah. to the barn. Oh. The, the cows. The yeah, cows, yeah. So the cows are grazed. In and out. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So on paddocks behind the bar. They can shoot. Oh, if they, want to shoot they can be in the shed or out or the shed. Or so the it's shed, it's yeah. um, they're they're just going out for to stretch their legs. It's not like a paddock raising system in Ireland. No, no, no. no. It's yeah. not like that. It's just for. Uh, we have something like that here in Germany. It's called vitamin so grass milk yeah. here. So the cows need to be at at the grass eight hours per day. Then it's grass milk yeah. here in Germany so that's our grass time yes yeah. do I have to be at grass for eight hours to qualify as grass yes. milk yes, yes. yes. eight hours for 180 days a yeah. year yes. and you're grass you can't grow grass like we can grow grass yeah. we can't grow 
crops like they grow crops i would argue they can, we can we can grow a lot of good grass in ireland though no, we can grow good maize too. We, grow good maize. we can grow good maize. Yeah. <laughs> I've our, seen your maize. <laughs> it's okay. No, but it will be interesting uh, regarding these boxes. So uh, Germany is now uh, on the edge on uh, disallowing single hatching. Oh. So this is active, I think, from next year on, right? Next you year, have to buddy. Yeah. You have to buddy on the first date. Yes. So I assume that these... Uh, so, I, so why? You, instead of having them in singles, you can have them in doubles? Yes. Yeah. You must. Yeah. They you need must. to see each other. Yeah. And smell and not only in singles. That is the problem yeah. at the moment with the single hutches yeah. and so. the government. <laughs> <laughs> so even even if like it was uh, rather than like a sheet between the calves, it, if, if, even if it was bars, a like a gate, yeah. uh, they have to touch. They have to. They have to contact. They have contact. full contact. But that 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 rule is in a long time. The contact rule and that seeing each other. That rule is a <coughs> European rule. Yeah. yeah. But it takes time to really put it into mm -hmm. uh, into action. Uh, but Germany again, a bit special. So <laughs> we we start early with everything. Within the agroplastics range, so we have now I think. Four or five options for buddy and calves. Dual XL, EXL, Dual XL, Buddy Hutch, Buddy Hutch, Ultra Flex Pen, the yeah. Group Hutch too, if you want to yeah. see and it like that. And I suppose for us, Phil, like in Ireland, we're used to grouping calves together with, yeah. with batch calf and calving together. But globally, I'd say in my travels, it's single calves yeah. on their own, individual yeah. growing up. But now there is research to say that if you give put even say two calves together, it's almost like two dogs. The feeding bowl, they see one eating, the other one will eat. So mm. there is. They learn from each other. They learn from each yeah. other. Yeah. yeah. But then. And it's easier to go with in herd with two ca uh, two calves. They know each other and then they go in a big herd so they are not lost in the herd. Yeah. They have each other. So that is, I think, a That's reason. That's the body as well. system. Yeah. yeah. So even the transmission from, from hutch to feeder is easier. It's about tradition and how it was yeah. done for years and years. and. Um, now there is a rule saying how you should or must do it. So um, yeah, you have to adapt. You have to make your new um, experiences and see how it works with your herd on, on your farm. No single housing. Yeah. 28 days on farm. Yeah. And then not allowed to touch any concrete. So where do you see yourselves going in the next five, 10 years in terms of calf feeding and calf feeding technology what will be the big changes I, I don't see changes I only see the development of the situation we have right now so all over the world um, cost for labor force is going up oh, yeah um, all over the world if, if you want to have labor force it's hard to find and good uh, trained or well trained labor force is hard to find um, so I believe farms will grow bigger mm. definitely I will see the automation especially the Arma Pro will be um, very important very very important because on, on the one hand you have greater barns you have bigger herds so you have bigger um, uh, pressure of bacteria germs and all sure. of that um, I see many many family farmers will be taken over or will sell because of the regulations made so it's 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 a tough job um, others will take it over so there are always losers and winners of the system uh, from my point of view um, but even then I believe we will have more facilities which are specialized on, on raising farms let's not forget how efficient the likes of this farm Irish farms and Dutch farms are and like we need to continue great food production not let it go to other countries Absolutely. you know Absolutely. that's 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 the when you talk about the work you're doing to rare calves collect correctly and lower the use of chemicals and best use of protein like we have to i mean if, if you think about this job done with that amount of animals yeah and um, has done from three workers five years ago yeah yeah new shed build proper shed proper design and it's just one guy doing it you know he is not in the barn right now so he must have some resting time yeah yeah <laughs> so um no it's fine i, I uh, even though we have a lot of reglementations and a lot is going on politically 
um, if you focus on the basics and if you think about maybe rebuild um, that will return uh, later on very very well. The, the issue with timber is always you need a lot right? <laughs> Extra food. Yeah. The, really, the really timber really keeping the roof up timber timber yeah. everything everywhere oh that's the the biogas plant where all the pieces go in there. yes uh, so you see in the back that they made a attachment and another ramp again so this can be lifted rich yes <laughs> Never seen one till I came here, and every farm I've been on has one. <laughs> All the tiles for the, the feeding. Aye. Uh, some some shed. That's some entrance to a yeah, to a cattle shed. Yeah, that's that's an old bar. Wow. Old classic bar. So you see you see a lot of this design here. Uh, but usually they turn into, into living houses and build a new cottage you see but it's just you don't see this in Ireland okay so <laughs> even there you can see the low hanging the low hanging bars wow. there and behind that they attached a newer bar yes some structure yeah you see here he only has the young stock in yes so the making bar parlor and the making bar is over all the new behind that. Uh, some structure. Don't see that at home. All the calf shape. But yeah, yeah. just so this year he finished the attachment. Special setup here. You see there this is the old calf shape. Yes. Right? Previously he had a feeder in uh, in the middle and feeding in all four um, pens over there. And now he attached a little bit because herd size grew. So he has a slave unit attached here. Yes. So feeder, full station, slave feeder, full station on the other side. And this is small group feeding. Six calves in, in the pens. Yes. And directly from day one. So the idea he had, again, full calves have to be kept longer. He had to optimize aid. Um, workers, workers left, or not many workers are left. Um, so he tried to optimize aid the whole calf feeding um, time, and this is why he chose to do it like that. Um, yeah, just you can see it there with the wood. Just the extension put on the old chest. Yes. Um, make sure there is a lot of fresh air. Again, make sure you can drive through. We really extended the uh, height of the roof yeah. Yeah. to catch the, the very get the height on it. Very important. Again, you can drive through to clean out. So there's foldable roof yes. to make sure fresh air is coming in and out. Um, yeah. So that whole back flap, you could say, is can, can come can, in and out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And exactly. Open it or close it. What I like here, um, very much, is they secured the feeder in here to make sure it's safe from everything. He has here everything he needs. Feeder. This system yeah. at the moment, yeah. 19 cows, most of them are weaned off. Yes. So he really has for 6, 12, 24 calves, one machine. Yes. And uh, he said it paid off so many times. Twi already. 24 calves to one machine. Yeah, from day one. Yeah, and we we wish, and at, to at best 162 on one machine. No, totally different though. No problems. No major problems. No, no but totally different, yeah. Yeah, different yeah. idea. One machine worked hard. But you see here, and um, most of them are weaned off already. Yeah, yes. They're, they're, yeah. They're so finished. Yeah. I think they're just waiting to move. Not bad. So he made that new um, at the end. We have some wood here in Germany. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think it'd be cheaper for us to build a shed out of steel than it is to build it out of wood. Wood is so expensive with us. Yeah, in Germany it depends on, on which time you are. So um, during during COVID, I think it was um, having wood was like having gold. 
Yeah. Prices, price, demand. Completely different setup as the other one, but um, working out well as well. Yeah. Cool. Right. You can see his calves look very content to do. Yeah. And the other one doing the, the first three to six days in the single hutchings, he's already um, adjusted in, in group um, feeding from the beginning of. So he won't have any issues with that. And you see here, of course, it was all concrete yes. in the beginning. So he just left the concrete uh, step there, which might be okay. Yes. And the rest is <coughs> raw. Although it's a little pushback at the moment. We have other customers who make the calf roof as a straw um, shelf. Shelf, aye, for putting yeah. sp small yeah. bales on. Right, and then yeah. they just push from that uh, down the roof. So we're just after finishing the tours of the farms. I just want to say a massive thank you to Josh and Lena. I'm right. You're right. <laughs> I, I am very bad with names. And Andre as well. I have that right, I do? Yes. I'm getting better, I think. <laughs> anyway, big thanks to them for showing us around and um, showing us around the different farms that they have calf feeders in. It's, and yeah, it's just different. Totally different. It's even wooden sheds. You just don't see too many of them at home unless they're, I suppose, the old cubicle shed. Oh, yeah. yeah. But um, yeah, amazing. It was big thanks to them for showing us around. It's really been interesting. Anyways, we're going to leave it at that for today's video. <laughs> As always, please like and subscribe to the channel. Videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. That's it from us. Good luck. Thank you. Bye. Bye.